what I like uh, about even the husband establishing rules in the house, and when a woman has a good husband, a God-given husband, she should not be offended or feel intimidated by him leading the home and making rules. One thing you've done in our home that I like, uh, even when we first got married, yeah. we're kind of beyond that. I remember any time there were um, disagreements, mm. what you would do, you would say, let's go to the Word. Mm -hmm, yeah. Now, you could have just said, I'm the man of the house. This is what I say. This is what we're doing. Mm. You made it very easy for me to be entreated of you because you said, well, let's go to the Word. And mm. this was your rule you came up with. Mm. And you would take the Bible <laughs> and say, let's see what God is saying. Yeah. And so you would open the Bible, and you wouldn't read it, but you would have me to read oh, that's it. That's exactly right. And Bishop, 99% of the time, God would speak directly to just what I needed to hear to convince both of us in the situation. Yeah. So that bringing that, so setting rules like that, is, that really helps in the household as well. Uh, the children looking at the husband in the house, the father, what he says is always going to have a firmer, mm. is going to have a firmer impact on them than the mother. Mm. You know, you know. <laughs> usually when my when my kids are all grown now, but when they're younger, if I would say, okay, when your dad gets home, you guys are going to be in trouble. But you never say, when your mom gets home, you're going to be in trouble. Mm -hmm. They have to look for a certain kind of authority in the husband and with their father. They see him as their father, but they also see him as their mother's right, husband. Right, right, right. So I think when that kind of uh, leadership is in the home, yeah. it really helps that child to see God in a different perspective or the right perspective because they've seen it demonstrated in the home. Mm. So That's good. I think all of that still is a part of husbanding that we don't often uh, include in the marriage because a man can't just say, do it my way because I said it. That's not going to always win mm -hmm. the wife. Neither is going to always win the children. Mm -hmm. But they also need precept and example. Right. That's a very good point is because when God um, designed this whole thing, he did not make a woman with the muscles that a man has. And the, the point I'm trying to make is God did mean for um, the man in the home to be that authority figure that you speak mm -hmm. of. Um, first of all, let me address another point you brought up about how we used to have conflict resolution with the word. <laughs> yeah. The Bible says, let every man dwell with his wife according to knowledge. Mm -hmm. I knew what I married. I married a girl who loved God. So if we're going to uh, reconcile issues, um, God did give me an understanding of take it to the Word mm -hmm. and let the Word show whichever one need to be uh, corrected or wrong or right or whatever situation or as like say, and God would bless us and speak to us. But that is because uh, I had married a girl uh, in your person, if you will, I married a girl that loved and feared God. And so in order for her to learn to trust me, I took her to the one that she trusts first. Wow. And when I took her to him, mm -hmm. she learned to trust me because she said in her heart, he's taking me back to the one that I love and I trust and already have been proven that he is a good God. Mm -hmm. Hence, if he takes me back to him to uh, for conflict resolution, I can trust him because I know where he's always going to take us to mm -hmm. when there's problems. He's going to take us back to God. He's not going to take us back to the fact that I'm the head of the house. Right. Or he's not going to take it to the fact of, okay, who's the smartest one? Mm -hmm. He's going to take it back to the one um, that we have bro both learned to trust mm -hmm. who is loving, who is merciful, who is forgiving, who supplies all of our needs. So when God wanted authority in a relationship, he did make the man to be the protector. That's right. When the home was threatened, we would think it ill for the man to run behind the woman and says, okay, you go out there and get him. <laughs> I mean, the proverbial thought is the husband goes out 
and rescues the family, right. so to speak. Okay, mm-hmm. and I, I know I'm, I'm I'm playing into the situation here, but uh, he is the one that is that is deemed uh, the defender of the home. Okay, the woman makes the home. The Bible says, but when it comes to uh, going to war, so to speak, it was the men that would want to go out to war. Right. That's right. When that is in place. Um, that the man feels like this is my responsibility. Mm-hmm. This home is my responsibility. It's hers to make it. It's hers to help us. Mm-hmm. It's hers to um, direct it. And that is true. Mm-hmm. That's why a man coming up with the phrase of I'm the man, do what I say is a very mm-hmm. foolish person. Mm-hmm. God took something out of you he did not replace. And he put that in her. And that is meant to help. Mm-hmm. So, um, and I don't want to get out in the weeds on this, but there has to be that level of authority in home. Uh, it has to be seen. Uh, and that's where the woman helps the man to be a man. Mm-hmm. And this sounds corny, by letting him be a man. <laughs>